Here's a tip for new Affinity Designer users. Using the ruler and guides. First thing I like to do when I'm working in Affinity Photo or Designer is to turn on the ruler, which can be done by either pressing the shortcut Command or Ctrl R or by using the view menu. The main reason for me to enable the ruler, besides showing extra information, is that I can now very quickly add guidelines to the document. A guideline can be created by pressing and holding on the ruler and then drag the guide out from the ruler. When working with guidelines, make sure you enable the Snap to Guidelines option from the Snapping options. When dragging from the horizontal ruler, you can create horizontal guidelines as you might have expected. Here is a power tip for you. You can hold the Alt or Option key to create a new guideline from an existing guideline. You can move guidelines while the Select or the Move tool is enabled. You will notice the mouse cursor will change, meaning you can now drag and move your guideline. As mentioned, this only works when the Move tool is selected. If you have any other tool selected, you cannot directly move the guideline. As you can see right now, I have the Node tool active and I am not able to move the guideline. And this is another reason why it is useful to enable the ruler. No matter which tool is enabled, you can always move the guidelines from the ruler. It can be inconvenient sometimes that you can accidentally move a guideline. To prevent that, you can lock guidelines from the view menu. When the guidelines are locked, they can no longer be moved. Also, not from the ruler. If you want to hide the guidelines, this also can be done using the view menu. If you're using guidelines a lot, I would suggest to add a keyboard shortcut to show or hide and lock guidelines. This can be done from the settings, go to the shortcut section and select the view menu. Scroll down to the menu item you want to add a shortcut, click on the text field and press your shortcut. Now you can quickly hide show, lock and unlock the guides. To remove guidelines, you can drag them out from your canvas and it will be removed. Another way to remove guidelines is by double-clicking on it, which will open the guides dialog. Here you can remove, add and modify guidelines. Select the guideline from the list and press the trash icon below the list to remove the selected guideline. One cool feature I like is using percentages to set up guidelines. Enable the percentage checkbox and add a guideline. You can click on a guide and change the percentage value. Pretty cool. There are other options you can try like columns and rows. Working with guidelines will definitely make your life easier and sometimes they are even necessary. If you like this quick tip, hit the like button and for more affinity tutorials, video editing and interesting color grading, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and until the next video.